another way to solve quadratic equations, especially those that aren't as easy to factorize, is by using the quadratic formula. Basically, what it says is that for a quadratic equation that's in its general form, so ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, then x, or our unknown, is going to be equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, if you have to memorize it, that's a totally different story. I mean, some courses, if depends on what you're doing, you might not have it and you have to have it in mind. But I know for CXC, it's in the, in the, on the first page on the formula sheet. But I think it's really important for you to know when you use it. And it's best to use, as we said, if we're not able to factorize that easily. But it's really just substitution because once we know all the coefficients and constants in the equation, then we'll be able to solve. So let's see how it works in solving the quadratic equation that we did earlier. If you remember, we were solving x squared plus 4x minus 12 is, was equal to 0. If you remember from the last video, we found that x was equal to negative 6 and x was equal to 2. So that means when we're finished solving, this is what we're so these are what we're supposed to end up with. So let's see how that works. Let's jump right into it. The first thing I need to do is to check if my equation is in the general form. And as you realize here, it's set to zero, it's equal to zero. So it's in the general form. So I can identify the values of a, b, and c. A is the coefficient of x squared. So in this case, it would be one because we didn't see a number there. B would be the coefficient of x, which as you can see here, it's 4. And C would be the constant. In this case, that would be equal to negative 12. So all I'm going to do is to take these values and substitute them into my equation. So that means that x is going to be equal to negative B. So that's negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's going to be 4 squared, minus 4 times a, where a was, we said that a was 1, times c, which was negative 12. And then we're going to put all of that over 2 times a, so that's going to be 2 times 1. So once you've substituted, all we need to do now is to simplify and solve. Because now that means x is going to be equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. Minus 4 times 1 is negative 4. And negative 4 times negative 12 is going to give me a positive 48. So it would be 16 plus 48 under the root sign. And all of that would be over 2 times 1, which would just be 2. 16 plus 48 is 64. And the square root of 64 is 8. So x is going to be equal to negative 4 plus or minus 8 all over 2. Now the plus or minus tells us that we're going to get two answers because this is basically saying that x is either going to be equal to negative 4 plus 8 over 2 or x is going to be equal to negative 4 minus 8 over 2. And in this case, if we were to simplify this, then we would get negative 4 plus 8 is 4, and 4 over 2 is 2. Or x would be equal to negative 4 minus 8, which is negative 12 over 2, and negative 12 over 2 is negative 6. So you realize we get the same answers as if we had factorized from what we were doing earlier. So to use the quadratic formula, we just check if it's in this general form, substitute the coefficients and the constant into the equation, and then simplify and solve.